Do you ever, are you ever in a situation where all of a sudden someone will... Cut you off? And then keeps talking? Yes. Yeah. So happens all the time. <laughs> and it can be difficult when you're trying... I hate it, too. I hate it. <laughs> When you're in your workshop <laughs> and I have a couple coming up. So I was wondering if you could give us some suggestions for when someone Cut start you off. or start sharing and won't stop. Okay. And so as a facilitator, and this is also just useful for people. Who are we again? I'm Kathy Bertoli from the intimacy dojo.com. And I'm Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. <laughs> um, so what was the question? How do you handle it when someone starts Cut talking? You off? And, and it keeps talking, and then but you were supposed to be trying to leave something the, and leave the discussion. Yeah, yeah. and they mostly uh, it helps if you just look at them and you're like, oh, they're just trying to help. Yes, I get they want to be seen and heard, mm -hmm. and they're they want to feel like they're contributing. Mm -hmm. But they sometimes they'll take the subject offline, or if we have a certain set schedule of things we want to cover, yeah. it makes it difficult. Well, I mean, so as a facilitator, you can't always do this when you're like at a dinner conversation. <laughs> um, establish that you want it to be interactive but that you will cut people off and you apologize in advance mm -hmm. in service of of whatever it is you're trying to accomplish yes so you basically train them because mm -hmm. then when you do cut them off and do it compassionately um you can be firm and it's building trust because you already said you were going to do that right um and then you're fulfilling on that so it's not a surprise mm -hmm. Um, and if somebody forgets that you said that, the rest of the room heard you say that and they're seeing you take control oh, okay. because, you know, this other person is kind of hijacking the conversation. So could you give us an, an example? If someone started talking, you know, shared like they were invited to and mm -hmm. then they keep talking and they're telling about all their Well, that what you're saying, they're right there. And then when I really, was doing that one time, that's really thing. important. Yeah. So I totally get that. And I love your passion. In, in wanting to share that, and I will totally talk to you later after we get this videotape done. But this is really important when I, I say, noticed. I have to say, I just, it's only another minute. You don't have to say minute. it now, and we don't have another minute, but I've got more time for you later. I just want to say the one, this one thing. No. And you just do it like that. Now, with other people, like when you're at Thanksgiving dinner and it's your mom or your aunt, you're basically screwed, so just don't go home for Thanksgiving ever. <laughs> Or drink um, heavily. Or drink heavily. Well, no, you might probably drink heavily, then go home. Um, with other people, what you can do, depending on your personality, mm -hmm. right? You can be like, like try to like do the thing again. Okay, like, so when I was having this experience, it was really amazing. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I just remembered. We don't have time for this conversation. <laughs> I have to get back on track. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> and um, so I mean, you're gonna have your own style, but you basically have to ex exert yourself. So, what if you're not quite that boisterous? What if you're someone? I'm a, I'm a quieter person, so it'd be harder for me to do that in it, a way that would interrupt them. You, you could just raise your hand. Okay. Until like so. Until so okay. So try talking to me. So I was having this amazing experience uh, yeah i see that you want to do that but i want to tell you <laughs> it really is hard to talk when your hand is raised isn't it but i'm also being present yes with you. yes so like you can do i mean now don't get passive aggressive um you know other things you can just stand up and like just stand up and, and eventually they'll be like what are you doing yeah. you know like, i'm trying to regain control of this conversation because like I actually have an agenda that I need to, to take care of. Yeah. And I really like that you've suggested to me before to make sure to acknowledge because they really do want to be seen. Oh before. my God. What you just said there, the being seen part. Yeah. Really important. I want to acknowledge you for, for that piece right there. That's key. Do you mind if I talk to you after this about that? Oh, that's good. I like that a lot. I mean, it's mostly just understanding that being present will start to change mm -hmm. how they're going to occur to you. Most people are repeating themselves because they don't feel heard. And they're going on and on. Most people are going on and on because they feel you actually listening to them. Yeah. And then they, because nobody else listens to them in the world, they want to get all of it out all at once. Yeah. Or they're just trying to contribute. Mm -hmm. So leave them feeling smart. 
Try to leave them feeling seen and heard. And don't, don't get flustered. Get silly with them if you can. Yeah. That will usually help. Okay. And if they just, none of those work, do you have a solution? This is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. And Kathy Ritchley from the Intimacy Show.com. Thank leave you. Leave comments. Leave comments. Leave comments. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. <laughs>